Well, have you ever thought about the impact sugar has on your health? Well, this morning, ABC's Jacqueline Lee talks with the best-selling author who shows us how sweets are hiding in places you might not expect. What if there was a way you could age well beyond 100 years old and still feel young and healthy? I've been to places in the world like Sardinia where they live to be well over 100 years old and they're vital and fit and they walk five miles a day at 95, 100 years old. So the body has the capacity to do that and we just have to unlock it. In his new book, Young Forever, The Secrets to Living Your Longest, Healthiest Life, functional medicine specialist Dr. Mark Hyman aims to show you how. First, by exploring your relationship to sugar. Can you talk about some of the most common high sugar staples that we may have in our kitchen? Well, I think most people don't realize they're eating so much sugar because it's in everything. It's in ketchup, it's in salad dressing, it's in uh, pretty much everything you can think of. Pizza, whatever, whatever you're eating, just so your audience knows, four grams of sugar is one teaspoon. So if it says 30 grams or 40 grams of sugar, that's 10 teaspoons of sugar. Right? You wouldn't put that in your coffee, but you can easily consume that in processed food. And in order to reduce your sugar intake, you have to replace it. So the key is to learn how to reduce your intake or dramatically lower it by cutting added sugars out of your diet, by eating real whole food and not eating a lot of processed food, which is killing us. Whole foods that include proteins like chicken, fish and meat and healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds and olive oil. We headed into the kitchen to find out how Dr. Hyman starts his day. This is my longevity shake and food is medicine and this all is amazing medicine. And the first thing I put in my shake is good quality whey protein. Whey protein is so important because whey is the best protein to build muscle. To that, he adds phytochemicals like green tea, blueberries and pomegranate concentrate for antioxidants, chia seeds for omega-3s, almond butter for good fats and vitamins, and avocado for monounsaturated fat. But I wondered, how can you make it taste sweet? I know that you say you try to stay away from sugar. You don't want mm -hmm. anything to be too sweet. That's but right. for those at home who maybe need that little boost. Well, if you really need a little bit, you can put a stevia. But I think people should try to back off the addiction to sugar because that's what's driving aging. So watch out for the sugar. And then uh, toast to our Cheers. health and to a long life. 